Right now, the first glance tonight, we're getting a look at one of the bidders looking to run the Cincinnati streetcar. The new information given to Nine on Your Side just hours after City Council voted down both options. Evan Millward on your side live now with how much the company claims it could save the city. Evan? Well, Craig and Carol, no matter which way you cut it, sort of says it will cost four plus million dollars a year to run the streetcar. This email shows one bid offered to do the job for quite a bit less. It seems odd to me that a majority council can't pick a horse here. A cheaper non union streetcar manager didn't make the cut, but Wednesday, neither did the more expensive union operation. I, I don't believe that when you get done negotiating, that there'll be that big of a differential between the two. When we reached out to Amalgamated Transit Union Local 627, the president sent us this an email claiming to be from Cincy based First Transit. It gives us a glimpse of what may have been on the table. It says the company made a bid to run the streetcar but keep union employees, pay them two bucks an hour more than SORTA drivers, and come in below city budget. SORTA didn't choose this offer, telling Nine on Your Side Wednesday it can't comment on the email, but adding the selections weren't just about lowest cost. Mayor Cranley and some on the council have been arguing for more transparency. The bids are private. When I go to the store to buy a can of soup, I need more information than what's the lowest price. I want to know if it's any good, if it's nutritious, uh, and so forth. And we ought to have no less than that information when we're, we're expected to make a monumental decision like this. So the union says it sent this very same email to several council members and the mayor's office early this morning. Only the mayor's office confirms that it actually got the email. Back to you. All right, Evan, thanks for the latest there.